Last week's roundup of a number of dangerous criminals in the West End was just the beginning. The brutal murder of a 14-year-old boy led to the sweep. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live at police headquarters with the work that's left to be done. Angela. Cammy, tonight police met with people who live in the West End to update them on the progress, and they say more people are going to have to cooperate with officers to make sure a new group of criminals doesn't replace the group that was just arrested. When the SWAT team came knocking last Thursday and carted 20 suspected violent criminals off to jail, many breathed a sigh of relief. But police say the work isn't finished. Uh, just because these people get locked up, uh, facing criminal charges, we need the community to step up. I think the key message is that uh, uh, we need uh, victims to step up and people that know these folks that are in the crime business uh, to uh, get them identified. Out of the 20 people charged, four are facing federal indictments. That means longer prison sentences. Officers say 0.5% of the population is responsible for 70% of the city's violent crime. So that leaves you 99.5% of the population that really are good citizens. So why should this 0.5% of the population really dictate the character of streets in neighborhoods. People who've lived here for years refuse to be run out by criminals. I, I actually love the West End and I, I, I want to see it improve in terms of its uh, reputation throughout the cities. And they think of the history in the neighborhood. You think of Dayton Street, the Millionaire's Row. You th I think of the library. It's a great opportunity for the kids to go hang out. And the, the recreation center. Officers say in order to stop a new group of criminals from emerging, more people must be willing to work closely with police. It's really trying to change the culture, trying to change the culture that that's not acceptable anymore. And police say two of the biggest problems they deal with getting criminals behind bars and keeping them there is the no snitch mentality and also in some cases victims refusing to cooperate with officers and refusing to testify against defendants. We're live tonight at police headquarters in the West End. Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. Police say there are similar investigations like the one that led to Thursday's arrests going on right now in other neighborhoods. Still to come.